High expectations, loneliness, stress, anxiety. It could all lead to mental health breakdowns during the holidays. For some battling mental illness, this is the most difficult time of the year. The night team's Patty Santos talks to a family who says that setting boundaries and lowering unattainable expectations is helping them hold on to their joy. My heart goes out to him. He navigates everything here in San Antonio. He navigates his own medicines. He navigates his own doctors. Sergio Salina gets a lot of help from his family to manage his mental illness, be independent, and live a happy life. His mother is his biggest cheerleader. So he's looking forward to family time during the holidays. So I'm really excited for me personally for the holidays and having my family around. But he knows not everyone has a support system or someone to check in. Right now we've been getting... A lot of families that call in, but we're getting actually people calling in. Maria Hennigman handles support and outreach for National Alliance on Mental Illness San Antonio. She urges family and friends to check in on those loved ones that struggle with mental illness. Asking somebody how they are, how they're doing, and even if they say, I'm fine, leave me alone. Like, give them that space, but also do those check-ins. She says, look for signs of isolation, fatigue, tension, or sadness in those who struggle with depression. Help them stick to normal routines, get enough rest, and set reasonable expectations for the holidays, family time, and even spending. And if you feel overwhelmed, know you're not alone. Our support groups are going to be running throughout the break as regular scheduled because I think like a lot of like our support groups are run by peers so they know how it feels they know the crucial times that are necessary definitely don't give up hope definitely reach out to someone Patty Santos KSAT 12 News now if you or someone you know is struggling with mental health there is help out there you can call the National Alliance on Mental Health Illness that's the number you see here listed first and the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline, that number is 988, both listed on your screen right now.